Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is what happens as an object gets close to the sound barrier. So the sound barrier is this limit, the speed of sound, which at regular temperatures and pressures is approximately greater than 300 meters per second. So it's about 330 or slightly less than that, 320 something meters per second depending on your altitude and location on Earth. So here I have a little plane and it's moving very close to the speed of sound, so it's approaching the sound barrier. And a lot of interesting things will happen as it goes from subsonic to supersonic velocities. So here it's accelerating and it's going to break the sound barrier. Well, there's an equation known as the prandtl glauert equation, which predicts that as you cross the sound barrier, there's going to be an infinite amount of pressure experienced by the plane. In reality, of course, this singularity, this singular behavior, doesn't exist. The reason for this is that the aerodynamic and thermodynamic perturbations about the surface of the plane as it's passing through the sound barrier remain finite. So you don't actually get an infinite amount of pressure. This is where this equation and this description of passing through the sound barrier is violated. It fails. But a lot of interesting things do happen. We've observed that when objects such as high-velocity planes pass through and break the sound barrier, that a type of cloud will form. The hypothesized reason for this is that when the, when the plane passes through the barrier, even though those perturbations in the air and uh, in the temperature fluctuate and increase, they don't become infinite. But they are amplified, however, a great deal. So you will have regions of very high pressure and regions of very low pressure. And what happens is that in the regions of the very low pressure, if you assume the ideal gas law to somewhat hold, then in the regions where the volume is conserved, because this is a big great deal of change in a small amount of time, this is the gas constant, and this is the number of moles. If these are conserved, then as the pressure decreases, the temperature must also decrease in these regions of low pressure. This will induce what's called condensation, which is what we see in clouds. So as you break the sound barrier, the object will develop regions in the local atmosphere close to it of very low pressures which will cause this cloud to form. And it's a very interesting phenomena because there are all sorts of nonlinearities and chaotic dynamics in the air molecules surrounding that object. My name is Walter Unglob and this is what happens as an object approaches and breaks the sound barrier.